Hey guys, how's it going? Joseph here. So back in January, I got a chance to see the new 4K laser projector from LG at CES and it looked impressive. This time, I got a chance to play around with it. This is the Cinebeam HU85LA 4K Ultra Short Throw Laser Projector by LG. So welcome to the channel guys. I'm Jolster and let's do this. So my first impression is the size. This is a massive box. It measures almost 27 inches length by almost 14 inches wide by around five and a half inches tall. In the front is this really nice cloth material that covers two 5 watt speakers. There is also a power LED indicator. There are ventilation grills on each side of the projector. And by the way, the projector is very silent. You can hardly hear the fans working. In the back, you'll find two HDMI ports 2.0, two USB ports, one USB Type C, one optical port for audio, one LAN port, one antenna or cable port. That's right, this projector has built in TV tuner, so just in case if you want to watch over the air channels. On top, there's also a compartment that houses the focus wheel. At the bottom, there are four adjustment legs, which are very important for the initial setup. There's also a little joystick which works as a power button and navigation through the menus. LG also includes a remote that works very well, they call it the magic remote, which you can use it as a normal controller or as a pointer or through voice commands. Either way, it works great. Show me movies by Tom Cruise. Oh, there you go. All the Tom Cruise collection right here. Open YouTube. Very fast. I like this. Very fast. Setting up the projector was a bit of a hustle. The adjustment legs play a big part of this process, as well as the 12 point fine tuning adjustment screen and the focus wheel. The first thing I notice is how sharp and bright the picture looks. This projector is rated at 2700 ANSI lumens, producing clear images in an indoor environment and under ambient light conditions. Of course, if you want to take full advantage of an ultra short throw laser projector, an ALR screen is your best choice. In this case, I'm using the Aurora ALR by Elun Vision, which I did a review here in the channel. The picture quality on this projector is on another level. This is a native 4K projector with HDR and LG is using XPR technology by Texas Instruments to achieve true 4K resolution with 8.3 million pixels. In simple words guys, the picture looks sharp and very detailed. LG is also using a three-channel laser technology with an additional of a red laser light source that produces a wider color gamut for an incredible color reproduction. Black levels are also very good with excellent detail throughout the brightness range. On top of that, the HU85LA is using HDR10 with dynamic tone mapping on a frame by frame basis. It delivers optimized picture quality on each frame, resulting in an amazing experience. All this is being projected on a 100 inch screen from just about six and a half inches from the wall. You can go up to 120 inches from just about 7.2 inches. Another feature I enjoy about this projector is the operating system. If you own an OLED TV by LG, you're probably familiar with this OS. It is fluid, very easy to operate. Just let me show you in just a little more detail. All right guys, so let me show you real quick. This is the home dashboard. This is where you can choose different inputs or you, you go want to go see the live TV. It's right here, USB, everything you get access right here to everything. Then over here we press the home button, then this menu opens. This is the WebOS is a very good operating system. It's on mostly all the 
LG TVs, especially on all the TVs, you're going to find this is very, very cool. Quick access to Netflix, Prime Video, uh, YouTube, Google Play Music. I mean, you can customize this if you want. And this is one of, one of the biggest difference between this projector and other projectors that the operating system, this works like a TV, like a regular TV. Then over here, let's go to the Nakamishi, for example. And then we can also get access to, let's go press right here. Oh, and yeah, this pointer, it's so accurate and so useful. I like this. And you can use it as a pointer, or if you don't want that, you can just use the regular buttons on your remote controller. So now over here, we press the settings, and then we get access to all these other settings. Uh, game mode, this has game mode, so this is a big plus. Let's go into the picture settings. You can choose also for sports right cinema standard vivid makes everything super bright expert dark room so right here uh expert bright room hdr effect i mean you guys pretty much have everything now uh when i i choose game mode because i do notice the input lag turns down very low and this works very very good i'm going to show you some gameplay in just a little bit but you can also get access to more picture modes. Let me show you what else it has. So the aspect ratio, you can choose that as well. You can change it. Sound, I'm using my Nakamichi soundbar right now. Uh, sleeper, PJT mode. So this is the projector mode if you want to have the projector in the front. Or maybe if you want to front in the ceiling, you can mount ceiling, mount this projector. Or this is if it's in the rear. And then this is ceiling rear. And this is the regular front. That's what I'm using right now. Then you get access to, of course, your Wi-Fi. Or you can use the LAN uh, cable for internet. Then let's go over here to all settings. Then we get access to even more settings. So right here on picture, you can uh, access to picture game mode. And then you can customize your, uh, your contrast, brightness, sharpness, color. Also, what I did is over here, expert cont controls. I'm going to click in here, and I turn off pretty much everything, super resolution. Let's turn this one on. I don't know why. Let's turn it off. So when you turn all this extra settings off, the input lag is even better. So that's why I turn everything off. White balance, you also get access to white balance, two-point high. I mean, you can customize everything you can calibrate this projector and set it up for with a, if you want you know I'm, I'm assuming if you're investing six thousand dollars in a projector like this you will want to, uh, to have it uh, professionally calibrated noise reduction I mean you guys have pretty much everything right here all right guys so if you're a gamer this projector has game mode this is the only 4K laser projector I have been able to play multiplayer games with a reasonable input lag. I did notice a little image drop quality while using game mode, but the experience is totally worth it. For this, I connected my Nakamichi 7.2.4 Elite soundbar and the Xbox One X through ARC HDMI port and play HDR games. Through this, I was able to control my soundbar with the projector controller. Even though HDMI ports are 2.0, you are still able to use Dolby Atmos for games and movies that support it. Alright guys, so this projector has been an amazing experience. but. There are a few things that I wish they were different. First is the price. At $6,000, I feel this is going to be hard for the majority of people to buy one. Also, it doesn't support 3D. At this price point, at least it should have 3D and experience those movies in the big screen, but it doesn't. Also, I wish the initial setup was a bit easier. I spent about an hour trying to align the screen correctly, but oh well, I, I don't think that this is a deal breaker. Besides that, if you have deep pockets and don't care about 3D, this projector is amazing. 
the image quality is on par with high-end TVs and with the addition of TV Tuner, great operating system, access to your favorite apps on a 100-inch screen or bigger, you won't be disappointed with this projector. Alright guys, so that's it for this video. Thank you so much for stopping by. Don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel if you like this kind of content. I'm Jolster, and I'll see you guys on the next one. Jolster out.